Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plant Obsessed. Today we're going to take a look in on the DIY stacked bin. Let's see what they are doing. Looks like they're growing something. Potato peel? Weird. It's just now starting to get a little warmer in here, so the worms have not really been eating quite the volume that they do during the summer. So if I keep finding food, it's probably slow food. Well, that's interesting. So they're finally getting into this apple. I think it's been in here for months and months. But you can also see there's some red mites, um, which hopefully are helping and not hurting. But yeah, some of the fast food versus the slow food, now that this apple's finally starting to degrade, it's going to be able to feed the worms and um, make a contribution, unlike it's been doing for the last couple months, which has been nothing. Um, you would think apples would degrade pretty easy, but they really don't if they're intact. Let's go and take a look at the next level down. All right, well, this seems to be doing a lot happier. Moisture level's pretty good in here. I don't know if I'm going to find any food. Yeah, there's an app. apple. Same story. They're doing a little better getting into it. Got some paper. Overall, this layer is doing really nice. have some tea bags and some apples in here so this layer probably doesn't need anything much so um, let me go ahead and pull this off and see what the bottom layer is doing okay here we go this is where everything stays nice and wet looking at it even though it's pretty damp it's not too wet at all it's not mucky So far, I'm not seeing any evidence of food except for this piece of carrot. And until it starts degrading, it doesn't really count. So I think these guys on the bottom, they don't have anything at all. So I think I am going to give them some food down here. Okay, so that's avocado and more carrots and maybe some bread. I don't remember. But we're going to cover that up and put the next layer on. And then for the top layer, I had an idea. I uh, I don't know how many of you guys watch AJ's Green to Topics. It's another worm channel plus other environmentally friendly things. If you don't, go have a look at him. Um, but I bought some of his um, Norvex towels. And so I thought it would be appropriate if I donated one of my old towels to the worm bin. Now, this is not the towel I was using. This is an older towel that was a, a dog towel. But uh, in honor of me switching over to a more environmentally friendly towel, I am going to give this towel to the worms and see what they can do with it. It's been soaking in water for a couple of weeks. Uh, dried it out a little bit so it didn't make the bin horrible. Um, but let's see if they can eat a towel. Um, I've got another project where they're eating a shirt. So let's see how they feel about a towel. Um, let me know if you've ever done that. Um, I think, actually, I think AV's done doing a towel once upon a time. So I know it can be done. Uh, but that is the current plan with this one. Instead of rubbing it or putting it, instead of covering this with bubble wrap, I'm going to cover it with a towel. Um, I don't know if that's going to 
leach uh, moisture or not, I might have to end up putting plastic on top again. Um, but for right now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to give them a towel on top. Um, so well, let me know what you think of the project. Uh, if you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.